Hi Cancer, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your You vs. Them love spread for the month of April. However, time is fluid, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. All right, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, Cancer, I'm going to do your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to switch roles as you see fit. It could be the whole side, it could be one or two things. Feel free to flip-flop and reverse the energies. Um... There could be one or two things that don't resonate. That's fine. That message is for somebody else. This is general. If you would like to book your personal reading, information's in the description box below. Um, and if you would like to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, uh, Beyond the Moon 1111, I'd love to have you guys um, over there. I am going to start doing some fun interactive live videos and stuff like that. So... Um, head on over after this video if you feel called. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with cancer. So um, you could be single, you could be in a connection. This is for whoever is on your mind the most, okay? All right, cancer, in love. What do we have? A lot. All right, so release your ex, finances, and career. Let's see. Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you're exper you experience more love in your present moments. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Sorry if I didn't show these to you. All right, so um, we do have release your ex and free yourself. So I don't know if maybe someone's keeping you kind of like stuck in cycles or, um, you know, kind of just feeling like you're trapped at the moment. Um, but forgiving and learning, calling in your soulmate and attraction. So let's see, what is Cancer's overall energy um, you might be trying to manifest a soulmate, or maybe this is your soulmate that you feel stuck to, um, that you can't release. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it and see what's going on. All right, Cancer, overall energy for Cancer. That is too many. Cancer, thank you. Yeah, fork in the road. So... I feel like there's some stuck energy. I was feeling that here with the free yourself and release your ex and then calling in your soulmate and attraction. So you might be like in the middle of a transition, leaving somebody, maybe somebody else caught your attention or um, just being stuck. Do you stay with this person or do you just break free and be single, right? For some of you, um, we do have poise. So you are handling it um, the best you can um, with a gentle heart. Um, you're not overreacting or um, working in like a fire type energy. And I don't mean that like fire signs, just um, you're being very um, classy and lighthearted about it. You're not being vengeful and trying to jab and that kind of a thing. So um, somebody might be putting you up on a pedestal or look up to you very much. Um, maybe there was some kind of codependency going on where someone was, you know, relying on you for a lot. Yeah, here's that cycle stuck in circles. We have co-create. I feel like this person may want a reconciliation or a new start here. Um, they're trying to be flexible, all right? Um, they're trying to be flexible. There's another egg. There's a, there's two eggs out of these three cards and then round and round. So it's like, I feel like this person, you guys were in a cycle, right? Like this, round and round, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, um, false starts over and over, empty promises or not living up to what you know, actions not matching words, all right? So I feel like your person is trying to be flexible and go with the flow. They do, it does look like they want to reconcile. Um, maybe there's some truth that needs to be told here. I don't know, let's see, let's get into it, Cancer. So I'm gonna do your energy and then get into your person's energy. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. I remember your, your last video, strength, you trying to find strength, Leo energy here. Um, maybe you are in like a fiery type energy. Um, just standing your ground, 
speaking your truth. Ten of Cups. So strength and Ten of Cups. You're really trying to find um, the confidence, the, the desire, the strength, the courage to find this Ten of Cups and find your complete happiness. Whether it's walking away from a situation or just standing your ground, I feel like. I keep hearing that. Standing your ground. Standing your ground. Uh, let's see. Cancer. Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Three of Wands. So waiting. Waiting for your manifestations to happen. Waiting for things to come in. Six of Pentacles. Um, something that's balanced. Something equal. Give and take. Reciprocity. You know, um, I wanted to say like having karma come back around. Like good karma. You know, whatever you put out, you're getting back. I was just getting that message with the Six of Pentacles. I usually don't, but... Um, it's like you're waiting for something to level out or even out so it's equal. Again, there could have been some kind of like codependency. You could be doing some healing work here. Yeah, and trying to manifest possibly an ending or hopefully it could be a new cycle. Mm. The only way that... A cycle like this, a karmic type cycle, can actually work is if both of you end up vibrating on the same frequencies. You both do the work, individually do your own self work um, to come together. You know, you can't force someone to change. They have to want to change on their own. So if that's not taking place, then yeah, it's just going to keep going round and round. It's going to be the same story over and over, you know? Um, so let's see, what's going on with your person? Capricorn energy, the devil. There could be some toxic behaviors, obsessive, codependency. I kept hearing that at the beginning, codependency. Um, I feel like this is really a lot like your last reading, Cancer. Um, you gave them a huge wake-up call. So I'm wondering if this is still the same energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be saying that this person was kind of going around, acting single, being fun, flirty, adventurous, fiery, passionate, sexy, attractive, that type of a thing. And yeah, it could have been toxic. see what else for cancer knight of cups in reverse pisces energy here you are at the bottom of the deck i feel like this person was more about like sexual behavior versus being romantic loving caring nurturing and kind that's way too many What else for Cancer's person? What else for Cancer's person? Hmm. The Empress. All right, so you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, there's that player card at the bottom of the deck. This person could be a parent, mother, father, um, or a mother, father is butting into their life a little too much, or there could be a pregnancy for some of you, not all, um, on this person's side, um, whether they just could be like a fertile, abundant type person that does have a loving, caring, nurturing side to them, but they have like player-like ways. Can I get one more? Why is the Empress here? Hmm, the hanged one, Pisces energy. <sighs> so I feel like your person may have pulled their energy back. They're trying to gain a different perspective, trying to th see things in a different light, get some clarity. They're trying to get some strength and confidence too. Hmm. Let's see, what's blocking you, Cancer, from this person? 
Cancer, the Queen of Wands. So there could be a fire sign very much involved here. Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a that single, someone acting single, passionate, flirtatious, going out and just not acting like they're single, you know? Uh, let's see what else. Queen of Cups, there you are. And the tower. Scorpionic energy. Could be a fire or another water sign that is in the way or creating some kind of blockage here. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but this is your card, Cancer. Um, and then a tower moment. You may have found out about somebody else. Sorry for my dogs. I can't help it. Uh, you may have found out about somebody else and that caused a huge tower moment. Yeah. And now you're... Uh, could have been an empress that came in. There could have maybe... This, this person could be like in a higher level of commitment with somebody or have children with somebody else that maybe won't let them... Be released I feel like I'm repeating the same story so you're you're stressed out over your happiness your wish fulfillment your high anxiety overthinking sleepless nights um, trying to process whatever it is that caused this tower moment here um, but you have Queen of Wands Queen of Cups and the Empress as far as like people energy um, with this tower card right in the center. So your happiness is being blocked by other people. And yeah, you know, there could be like if a mother or father of their child or children is getting in the way, keeping them stuck. It's a repeat, same same story as last week. Let's see. Um, what's blocking this person from coming towards you? <sighs> Three of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. There could be an age difference. Doesn't have to be. This person, again, I'm getting that they're connected to somebody else, possibly a mother or father of their children that they need to release. They need to release this ex. It, they're keeping them stuck in a cycle. Which is in turn, it's making this toxic. They can't offer you any kind of stability here because of this situation. What else? Blockages or external influences. Queen of Pentacles. Strong Taurus energy, but could be um, Capricorn or Virgo. Oh, this is Capricorn predominantly. Again, though, look, Pentacles, 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 that's all blocking. And the King and Queen of Pentacles, they're usually the married with children, have the house, have the home. You know, they're like at the Ten of Pentacles status, you know? Um, so that's blocking this. Stability, and there's somebody, they could be financially tied to somebody else. There you are. Like, or Scorpio, maybe, I don't know. They could be financially tied, but they are stressed out about it. Yeah, they're trying to juggle. They're feeling left out in the cold. Things aren't moving in their favor. The cycle needs to come to an end, and it's not. There could be lying, sneaking, cheating. They are stressed, though. They're stressed out. And so are you. You're both stressed. A ton of pentacles. These are blockages, you guys. These are the challenges and blockages, external influences. This person needs to release. Look, because 
Like all of this is, with you is being blocked. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, waiting for good things to come in, waiting for the happiness to come in. Next level of commitment, moving on, moving up. Engagements or just, you know, moving in together. Like next level, it's the next level of where you're at. Mm, yeah, victory and success is being blocked. Someone needs to heal. Someone needs to pull their energy back. Because this is being blocked. Again, there's those cards. Hmm. And yeah, again, you're willing to put in the work. You're willing to work on this, but this person needs to release. Something needs to be more flexible in this person's life. We have the flexible card. All right, let's see. How do you genuinely feel about this person? How do you genuinely feel about this person, Cancer? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. You feel like this person could give you everything that you want. You feel that connection. You feel it could be stay on the test of time. It could go far. It could last a long time. It could lead to marriage, family, all that. The life, you know. How else does cancer feel towards this person? How else does cancer feel towards this person? <laughs> yeah. Look, you, again, you want to put in that work. You want some kind of reconciliation or your good karma to come back around. You know, you've probably given a lot to this person. That's why I was hearing codependency at the beginning. This person is attached to someone who is codependent. Either this person is codependent or they are attached to someone. And I feel like it's more they are attached to someone who's codependent. Um, you're, you want to put in the work. You want this to come together. You, this is that wake-up call. This is that judgment wake-up call. You want them to have a wake-up call. I thought last week they did. Maybe they're still in the, the middle of the process. You want them to become single. You want them to become single and stop juggling all this this stuff and focus on you and come towards you and make that offer. Because right now you're feeling very much ignored. You're feeling left out. You're feeling ignored. Someone's got a hold on them. Let's see, how does this person feel towards you, Cancer? How does this person genuinely feel towards Cancer? <laughs> Leo energy. They see you as the sun. You make them happy. Feel like that came out last week's too. If you didn't see last week's reading and this is resonating, check that one out too. Um, I think it was titled, you gave them a huge wake up call or something. Look at that one. Um, I feel like it's this, it's similar energies. Um, they know that they've hurt you. They know that you're sad. They know. They know what they did. They know. Look, wolf, bottom of the deck. No. Maybe you're ignoring them now. Maybe you said, you know, I'm just going to focus on myself. This person loves you. This person loves you. You make this person happy. They love you. This is how they feel about you. How else do they feel? You may have blocked them. Like I said, Virgo energy. You might have blocked them. There's that ten of pentacles again. 
either you blocked them or they know that they need to gain some kind of wisdom, knowledge, and follow their true path and follow where it is that they're supposed to go and it is towards you. They know you're, you're the Ten of Pentacles. You know it, they know it. That you guys are supposed to be together. But there's something keeping this person stuck. Let's see, what are your hopes for the outcome? Keep in mind, you have free will, so this is just hopes for the outcome. It could literally change right after you watch this video, okay? Hopes for the outcome for Cancer. Ten of Swords. You want to end the Ten of Swords. Look, they know they caused this pain, and you're hoping that it ends. Ten is an ending, okay? Ten of Swords. So you're hoping to end that betrayal, backstab, pain, that pain. Ace of Wands, the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, and Two of Swords. You want this person to take off the blindfold, see things clearly, get a new perspective, get that aha moment, have that wake-up call, <laughs> all right? Because there's a lot of passion here. You want a new beginning. You want a new beginning with this person. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of passion. This person, there's a lot of love. I mean, you have Ten of Cups at the beginning. you That's a lot of love, too. That's the energy you're in. What else? Hopes for the outcome for Cancer. Any, whoa. Yeah, temperance. You want things to be balanced. You want to be able to go with the flow, but you can't go with the flow when this person is blocked like that. Um, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're trying to manifest it. You're trying to manifest this person. King of Cups, Pentacles, Swords. This was all at the bottom, and then Three of Swords. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people involved. There's just, there's too many people involved, I should say. It could be friends, family, relatives, things like that, parents, you know. Um, Sticking their nose where it doesn't belong, but I feel more that it's, I feel like this person is connected to someone, possibly over financial reasons. Let's see, what is this person's hopes for the outcome? They could be hoping for a tower moment and being able to abandon the situation. Scorpio energy there. Yeah, they want to move on to calmer waters. They're still hearing your wake-up call. They're, they're still hearing it. <laughs> but I feel like they have not yet took complete action. They know. Yeah, look, they want a transformation. They want a tower card. Ta yeah, tower. They want a tower. There's temperance, seven of swords. They want something to change. They know something needs to end to start with you. They know some kind of transformation needs to happen. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. You have this card too and hopes for the outcome, okay? There's a lot of attraction and passion here. There's definitely emotions. What else hopes for the outcome? They want to probably, probably also put in the work, the effort. It didn't come fully out, but. You got the same card. You both want the same things. You want a decision to be made. The moon, that's you and Pisces and the world. This person wants to end this, this cycle. They want to end this cycle. Yeah, 
Yeah, and have that balance. Take that leap of faith towards you. They could be, I feel like they're strategizing on how to take this leap of faith. They're waiting for the right moment to make a move towards you. Double Cancerian energy here. They want to take this leap of faith. They want to. They're strategizing and they're waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the right time. Because someone possibly has them on a hold. Possibly for financial reasons. Maybe they have children together. They own a house or real estate or a business or something like that. It's keeping this person stuck. Their heart is with you. Their intentions are with you. They want to come towards you. They want to make you an offer in love. Gemini energy. All right, what would this person like to say to Cancer? Um, I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. So, yeah, you were standing your ground. Like I said at the beginning, you were standing your ground. You were my best friend and I cherished our friendship above all others. So it could have started off as a friendship and led to more for some of you. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, this person's starting to feel lost. They know what they want. Something's keeping them stuck, and they can't take that leap right now. Aries energy. I don't think I said that before. So, I mean, you're trying to manifest this person. You're stressed out about it. You sent a wake-up call. They got the wake-up call. They're really hoping to close out the cycle with that other, the other thing. The other person place or thing whatever it is they want a transformation they want a rebirth they want to leap towards you they still want it you have free will i mean i can't say what's going to actually happen in the future because of free will but you both want the same you guys are mirroring each other a lot as far as like emotions and stuff. So I don't know, Cancer. Hopefully next week's will shift a little. <laughs> um, so that's what I got for you. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your name below, or just comment below. Sorry. <laughs> Just let me know if this resonated, if this is your story. Um, please, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And please follow me over on Facebook and Instagram, Beyond the Moon 1111. And until next time, Cancer, love and light. Take care.